faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates, welcome and good evening. We were energized and hopeful that our time at HHS would be transformative, empowering, and most importantly, fun. With effort, you will end up where you're supposed to end up. Don't let minor setbacks affect your confidence, for you are all destined to achieve great things. Hopkins High School class of 2018, congratulations. As you take the figurative left on Boylston Street and cross the stage tonight to receive your diploma, remember that you have made an important mark on HHS and you will forever be a part of our community. Like many of you, the next step for me is college. In three short months, we will each be making homes in faraway campuses. These new places will be strange to us and will take some getting used to. They might not have a single Duncan in a 50 mile radius, and the Patriots may not be the home team, but soon we'll slip up and call them home. And a bit later, we will confidently label them home. Over the last 12 years, I've had to attend my three older brothers long high school graduations and even longer college graduations. So you can imagine that nothing makes me happier than that they not only have to attend our graduation, but they have to sit and listen to me speak. <laughs> One of the hardest things to do is to cheer for someone else's success when that success is something that you wanted. But that is something I see in our class. We do this because we want to see our friends succeed in the things that are important to them. It has been an incredible journey. And although I am sad to see it end, I know it is time to move on. Godspeed, class of 2018. Go where you want to go. Be friends with the people that you want to be friends with. The ones who will make you smile and who support you. Don't let other people try to tell you who you are or what you like because that's not what's going to make you happy. The teachers have always said that we were one of the best classes and I couldn't agree more. It's been a pleasure growing up with you all and I can't wait to see all that we accomplish in the years to come and the people that we become. So this year we will be gifting a couch and two tables to the guidance office. In addition to this, we will also be replacing the broken water fountain outside the cafeteria with a more updated and economical water bottle filling station. Our class advisors this year have been Mrs. Elder and Mr. Longoria, and I can honestly say they have been the best advisors anyone could ever ask for. This 2017-18 yearbook is dedicated to Shane DeRoche and Brad Canty, two young souls who left us far too soon. Thank you to everyone on the yearbook staff who worked diligently to create a masterful memento, one that we'll all cherish for decades to come. The Marion T. Harris Award is granted annually to honor the memory of a former teacher who dedicated her life and career to the students of Hopkinton High School. I am pleased to present the Marion T. Harris Award to Nate Pucci. Graduates, I want you to know how much I will miss you, and more importantly, how proud I am of what you collectively and individually have become and achieved. Please don't lose sight of these basic tenets, like appreciating and living in the moment, stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while, being open-minded, and believing in yourself. I will always remember this group. You are a class I will compare others to for the rest of my career. Nathan James Pucci. Ted Joseph Torres, Ian Whitaker Holmes, Lu Chung Wang, Zachary Charles Sisiski, Caroline Marie Murphy. Led by your class president, Nate Pucci, move your tassel to the left side of your motorboard. Acting Superintendent Kavanaugh, school committee members, administrators, faculty, family, and friends, as principal of Hopkinton High School, I hereby proclaim that the members of the class of 2018 standing before you have successfully met the requirements of a diploma as set forth by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts in this school district. It is my distinct honor 
to declare them graduated.